Hello, everyone. My name is Sage Yellow. Today, Superman and Lois, Season 2, Episode 11 Review. Let's go. So we started this episode exactly where we left off. Jonathan sees his other self from this un- from our universe and what well, he's going over there to merge. So Jordan, he comes at him. He gets folded, basically. And he goes to his other self and he well, merges with him, or, well, gets to that. Anyway, Clark, he starts running, well, not running in, he starts flying in, trying to get there as fast as he can to stop them, and he does get there, he flings everybody out of place, well, yeah, he flings everybody out of place, and Jonathan says that he'll be back, and he will merge with his self, and he can't, Clark can't stop this, and Allie will win. So Clark explains the whole situation to Lois and the boys, and you know he's just he's just happy to be home. And he tells Jonathan that he's sorry for ever you know getting on his case and all that stuff and like being way too hard on him because you know he doesn't want to lose him like how that like Bizarro's Earth Clark lost his son. He doesn't want him to become like that Jonathan. So yeah. So we move over to Jordan. He's texting Sarah like what, like 40 times? I don't know. And Lois comes out and she's like, I just don't think that's a really good idea. You know, maybe she doesn't want to talk to you right now. And, you know, with all this stuff going on, I don't think this is like really the time. But he's like, you know, maybe this is the perfect time. You know, he just really wants to tell her. So they tell John about the whole situation, asking him if he can possibly do something like Make an XK device that'll like pretty much stop Jonathan, Bizarro, Jonathan from, you know, trying to beat up Clark or whatever, or merge with Jonathan. So he agrees, and Jonathan, our Jonathan, gets a vision of where Bizarro's Jonathan is. So he tells Clark, he rushes over there, and he's at the diner right outside where he sees Lana. Now, if y'all remember, Bizarro's Lana. She'll eventually come to this earth, and that's when they'll merge. So he's trying to get this Arlana ready. So he's going to try to take her. So Clark, he gets there. He's just dressed up in a normal suit, and he runs into Lana. You know, she starts trying to make up a conversation, like, asking, like, how he's been, you know, like, why did it take him so long on this business trip or all that stuff? But, you know, of course he can't talk because Jonathan's right behind her. He's staring at her, and he... Pretty much tells her off, and she leaves. She agrees to leave, so. Yeah. So, Jonathan, he flies off, and he's just gone. So, Clark decides to go back to the house and talk to Lois about this whole thing, and she's just like, well, you know, we'll know when they get another vision. So, Clark goes to confront Jonathan about the whole drug thing, and he's just like, I understand what you did, but it's like, you really shouldn't have done that. Like, and... You know, he tries to explain. He's like, I had to keep it secret to protect it. But, you know, Clark doesn't agree with this decision. He's like, you know, she's a drug dealer. You probably should have just let her, well, get suspended and kind of ruin her life. I don't know why Clark would ever say that. That's kind of non-Superman-ish esque. Yeah, seriously. Like, isn't Clark supposed to see the good in people? Like, in everyone? Yeah, that's very weird. How does he save people how does he save people who literally want to plant nukes on the u.s who like literally want to nuke the u.s but he can't give it in his heart to forgive a drug dealer what (laughs) exactly and jonathan calls him out on he's like well that's no different from me that's no different from you keeping your secret about being superman like you literally kept that from me my whole life about like who our family really is but of course that's kind of different that's literally like a life or death situation. So, but you know, so agree to disagree. He just storms out and just tells him, I'll just tell you when I have another vision. So then we move over to John and Natalie. She's starting to get worried. She's like, what if he comes after us? And you know, like what if Allie just comes after us and she wins, she takes over the planet and you know, we could die. But you know, John tells her like to not worry about it and everything's going to be fine. Just work on this weapon. So then we move over to Sarah and Lana. Sarah, she says she's organized these boxes for Lana. So when she goes to her new office and Lana, she pretty much says that 
uh, she's talking about Clark and how off he's been, but in Saris, like, you know, I saw that in Jordan, like, before I broke up with him. And also, Jordan's been texting her, and she's like, she left one reply, and he's pretty much, well, ghosted. Yeah. So, that's when Lana brings up this new thing. Her first car. Yes, he gave her their car keys, and Sarah's very excited about this, and she leaves. So then we move back up with Jordan and the and the boys, and Jordan is making this whole poem for her, well, a uh, letter, and Jonathan he reads it. He's just teasing a little bit, and it's actually very very good, very heart- heartfelt and everything. So, yeah. So that's when Jonathan he stands right outside um sarah's driveway yeah basically right there and sarah runs into him she's like you know where have you been and all that stuff and she's just like just talking it up with them not knowing that it's bizarro jonathan and you know she's probably weirded out because he looks like a freaking goth leopard not goth leprechaun like a goth elf or something so he's just acting very weird you know he's just acting like he's like you know he's like Oh, yeah, you know, the car looks fine or whatever. But, you know, I usually drive in limos. But she doesn't really think much of it. And she's just like, oh, whatever, egotistical guy or whatever. And she drives off. She's still weirded out, but, yeah. So that's when Jonathan rocks, walks into Sarah's house. And, you know, Lana's obviously confused by this. So he pushes Lana into the little glass case and knocks her out. So that's when Lois shows up to her to shows up to Lana's office and Sarah's in there. She offers to give her a coffee, but she says no. And they talk it up. They talk about Jordan and she talks about her old boyfriends and all that stuff. And, you know, she's just trying to encourage Sarah to, you know, maybe get some maybe talk to Jordan again. That's when Sarah brings up that she hasn't actually seen her. Well, she saw Jonathan. So now Lois knows and she's like, okay, I got to go. So just. Tell me when your mom gets here. So she goes to Clark and she tells him the whole thing about Jonathan. And he's just like, okay, we got to figure out where he is. We got to figure it out. So Jordan and Jonathan over here, they, and they're just like, Jordan's mad because he talked to sit because Lois talked to Sarah. And she's just like, why would you talk to Sarah? You might have just made everything much worse. And, you know, like freaking Clark, he's just like, I mean, Jonathan, he's just like, why would you keep that secret from Lana again? You're keeping secrets again and all that stuff. Shut up, bro. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Bro. I mean, that is his best friend, but like, I mean, I understand it. So Jonathan and Clark, they're going back and forth, but you know, he's just, but Lois is just like, Jonathan, go upstairs. Clark, go, 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 go before he like kills L- Lana or whatever. So Jordan, he's just like, come on, mom. Why'd you do that? And all that stuff to Lois. So then we move back over to John and Natalie. Uh, Good family. (laughs) So they're trying to build a machine, but it doesn't have enough power. So they have to go get more. And to get that, they need some XK. Well, no, that is the power source. So they're going to have to go down to the mines where the portal is to Bizarro World. So we move back over to Jonathan. And he's building this bomb or whatever. And he tries to explain... Well, he puts the pendant on Lana so that her bizarro self will be ready. So then we move back over to Sarah and she asks her about her mom, you know, like where she's been. And I forget her name, but yeah, she's just like, she hasn't been in at all. And she's just like, okay, I'm going to go look for my mom. You maybe go to the house. Maybe she's just worried or something. So Lois, she finally talks to jordan and she actually reads the letter and everything and you know she says she's sorry that it actually may have ruined everything but you know yeah and you know jordan just asks like can you read the letter and like please don't do that again she does it's good whatever so that's when sarah comes over and she asks about her mom and you know Lois is just like okay i don't know where she is but i'll be on the lookout now jordan at the worst possible time decides to give her the letter that he wrote. So she says she doesn't want to actually read the letter and tells him off. So just move on, Jordan. Just move on. So then we meet back up with Natalie and John and the portal starts acting weird so they're just like, okay, we gotta get out of here fast. 
So then we move back over to Lana, and she tells Jonathan that he needs to get help because she's thinking it's our Jonathan, and he's an XK, and he's acting all crazy and everything. That's what they, that's what she's assuming. But he tries to explain to her that, you know, he's not theirs, Jonathan. Of course, she doesn't know, but yeah. So then we move back over to Clark and Lois, and, you know, they're just trying to figure out a plan what to do next. And, yeah, they're just wondering what they could do next, actually. That's when Jonathan has another headache, and Clark, he flies right over there speeding. He finally gets there, and uh, Bizarro, Jonathan, he breathes some fire, which causes an explosion, which launches all this kryptonite into his chest. It was all a trap. So... Bizarro Jonathan decides to stick this large shard of kryptonite into his chest, essentially, well, not killing him, but, you know, luckily he does leave, and Lana is there to pick out some of the kryptonite, I don't know why you would allow her to do that, I don't know why Bizarro Jonathan didn't think of that, so, anyway, um, Natalie and John are just trying to get out of there quickly, and that's when Lana Bizarro comes out of the portal, you know, all confused and whatnot. So she knocks out Natalie. Fortunately for her, John is actually alive. So Jonathan, he's just over here just getting the headaches of his mind. And apparently J Bizarro Jonathan is on his way here to pick him up. So Jordan plans to go out there and go handle some business. So J Bizarro Jonathan's just standing there. And we move back over to Lana. So she tells John to move or die. So Jordan, he's getting followed a bit. And John, he tried. John, he tries blasting at Lana, which doesn't do anything, and in fact, actually heals her wounds. So she, well, pretty much hits him across from the cave or whatever, which I thought was going to give him another concussion and maybe have another coma, but apparently it didn't. So she steps on his neck. It looks like she's about to kill him. So Natalie comes from behind and stabs her in the back and she leaves. So John Jordan is just getting the ever-loving crap beat out of him. So that's when he finally catches him a bunch because Jonathan, he's been in the yellow sun, which weakens him. So, you know, since he gets his power from the red sun, and that strengthens him, the yellow sun will weaken him. That's just what Jordan was waiting for that part of time. So he beats him up, and it is a cool, 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 cool fight. I mean, <laughs> almost all the fights in Super Hero Bros. are pretty good. So yeah, I really did enjoy this one. But he goes up in the air, and he just can't fly exactly right yet, so... He free falls down to the, well, ground. So Clark comes in, he catches him, and the fight's over, basically. So he goes over to Lana and pretty much tells her she's okay and everything. And Lana just says, you know, you want to come in for a coffee or whatever? He says no. And she says, you know, I don't know what to tell the kids. But he explains the whole situation about Bizarro Jonathan and, like, who he was, he's like, he's kind of like me, but he's not, a, you know, you're a Jonathan, so she understands that, and she just goes inside to see Sarah. So then John, you know, he's relieved that, you know, that he's okay, and he tells Natalie that he loves her, and all that stuff. So then we move back over to the family, and they're having a family meeting, where Clark asks the question if he should tell Lana, and they say yes. I don't know why you waited so long, but they say yes. And, you know, there you go. So he goes, he stops in the middle of the road. And Lana doesn't at first want to hear it because she has to go to Sarah. Like, she's probably worried sick. But that's when he takes off his glasses and he flies up in the air and she is shocked. Heck was that episode. It was freaking crazy. 
Um, Bessie was probably Bizarro Jonathan versus versus Jordan, and it was a freaking amazing. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you guys thought of this video. Was it? I mean, this episode was it good? Was it bad? Was it mad? You can tell by the video too. And uh, when I post this on Twitter, baby, you when I post this on Instagram, baby, share your story, share with cousin, whoever, share with anyone. And don't forget to check out my Moon video. Don't forget to check out my Flash video tomorrow, okay? See you later. Have an amazing life.